All right, and up next, let's see how React creates JSX under the hood. And first, let me just reiterate the main rules that we want to start with capital letter as far as our component, and we must return something. Now, it looks like in the latest version, if we don't return anything, it doesn't throw an error, but it used to do that in the previous versions. However, if you're not returning anything from component, it kind of defeats the entire purpose for the component. And as far as the JSX, if you find the whole syntax super weird, let me just reiterate that the whole idea is to make our lives easier. Technically, if we want to, we can call create element, which essentially is what React is doing under the hood. But I'm pretty sure that by the end of this video, you'll probably agree with me that using JSX is a little bit easier. So let's navigate to index.js. And this video might be a little bit annoying because I will comment this one out, the first one, since I don't want to essentially create two separate components and then change the values here as well. So let me showcase how we can create a component by calling react dot create element because remember react is a javascript library so essentially under the hood we are using javascript we are calling this method but in order to make our lives easier we can actually type here jsx so first let me just copy this comment this one out and let me showcase that i can go here with return and i can type react dot and then create element and in here, we need to provide three things. What element we want to create, props, which we haven't covered. So for now, we'll just pass in empty object. And then what value is going to be inside of that element. So let's try this one out. I'm going to go with heading two. I'll pass in the empty props, empty object. And I'll say the typical hello world. Let me save it. And everything works. OK, well, that's awesome. But keep in mind that our components are not going to be as straightforward as this one. What if, let's say, I want a div, and then inside of the div, I'm going to have the heading two. Like I said, this video is going to be a little bit more annoying than the usual ones, because I'll toggle them back and forth. So if I want to do that, I can simply go here with a div. So, so let me type the div tag, and then I'll place that heading two inside of it. So let me take this one out, set it up. And of course, technically, since it's a div, we don't see that, but I can guarantee you that the element exists. So if we take a look at the root notice, so I do have the div and then I have the heading two. So the next question is, well, how we can set this one up with create element? Well, check it out. We need to go with react create element. Then since the parent now is div, that's what we're creating. Again, same deal with the props, don't worry about them, just empty object. And then since the heading two is sitting inside of it, again, we type react dot create element, and then we pass the data. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this. I mean, you can have maybe 20 50 or whatever elements in here in this one component. And what do you think is going to be easier? Typing the HTML, aka JSX, or doing these acrobatics. Now, I'm not going to set up the code. If you want, you can copy and paste and you'll see that. Yes, it still works. But you would have to agree with me. As weird as it looks, the first time you see this kind of approach, in the long run, it's going to be easier and more straightforward than calling bunch of react dot create elements.